If you could just get a million people to listen, maybe 10,000 people become fans. That's okay. That's 10,000 people you didn't have before, my friend. Small rapper, gang. Yo, this shit looks sideways as fuck. What the fuck? That's what happens when you buy shit at Goodwill, Rob. That's a deal, Rob. Buy that, Rob. That'll look real good. That'll work great. No, broke. It broke, Rob. You fucking up, Rob. All right, close enough. What up, Smart Rapper Gang? Today we're talking about how to get your music heard by millions of people. No, this isn't a joke. I'm gonna tell you the ways that if you got your music into these places, you would get heard by millions of people all at once and <laughs> really build a fan base. Not only build a fan base, but get yourself some money at the same time. We're gonna talk about that today. I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper, hence why you become a smarter rapper and you're about to get smarter. Right after the intro. I do this full time, bitch. I do this full time. Every day, day. Stay up on my grind, bitch. All day, day. Stay up on my grind. Grind. I do this full time, bitch. I want you guys and girls um, to think like a marketer with me. Stay hydrated, people. Hold on a second. I want to do a lot of talking. I want you to think like a marketer with me for you know just a few minutes here, okay? Now, from a marketing perspective, if you want to get your music heard by millions of people, if you want to be a superstar, you want to be able to quit your day job, you want to be able to make money from your music, right? You need to get your music into the ears of millions of people, okay? So, right, you have to really think, where can I get my music placed or how can I potentially get you know, to that spot where I can get my music placed in those places? Who's gonna, who's gonna post it in those places so that you can actually get your music heard? Um, in the beginning stages, you know, you're probably thinking, okay, I can't really do that. It's not feasible. Correct. But if you instill this mindset in yourself now, along your journey of being a music artist, rapper, singer, whatever you, you are, you are going to be thinking, okay, okay, I'm looking for this opportunity. If you're looking for opportunity because you know that they exist, you're going to find it, okay? But if you just wander the world, you don't know what something is. Like if you're like, la, 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 and you're not paying attention to it. Similar to, let's look like this. Like if, if you know about cars, you know about exotic cars, like if you know what a Lamborghini is, when you see it, you're like, whoa, that's a Lamborghini. But if you don't care about cars because you're not, you don't know what it is, when you come across it, you don't really appreciate it, nor do you take the moment to take it in or, you know, take the opportunity to check it out. You know, similar, I don't know if that was a great example, but I hope you understand what I'm saying. So if you wanna get your music heard by millions of people, here are the things that you can do or the places you can get it placed in order to actually gain a lot of fans at one time and get it heard by millions of people at once. I'm not saying all of these people are gonna stick at once, but imagine right now, for a second, if you could get a million people right now to listen to your song. Whoa. Whether, you know, not everybody's going to love it, but at the same time, how many people are gonna stick, Google your song, search your song, add your song to a playlist of theirs, or, you know, um, become a fan of you. Maybe, you know, you never know. If you could just get a million people to listen, maybe 10,000 people become fans. That's okay. That's 10,000 people you didn't have before, my friend. Let's go over them. Number one, and you may already know this, but some of these you're not gonna know, okay? But number one, I wanna start with the big one, is have you ever considered getting your music into a movie? I know that in the beginning stages of my career, I never thought, let me try to get my music in a movie, okay? And now, um, I wrote a song specifically for the new movie Creed, um, and I'm trying to get a place because I got a, a guy on the inside, and I'm just praying, like, hopefully, maybe I can get my new song in Creed because it, 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 I made it for the movie, and it makes sense, like, you know what I'm saying? So, and millions of people are gonna see that movie. Okay, and that movie's gonna be watched for the next 10, 20 years, and every time somebody listens to the movie, if they hear my song, I could potentially gain a fan 10, 20 years down the road, right? You gotta think about it like that. Also, there is the money, right? If you could get, you can gain $40,000, $50,000 real quick off of getting placed on, in, in, a, in a movie or in a movie soundtrack. What? She, I'll just go number two. Number two, you can get your music into a commercial on television or even a commercial that's um, that plays on radio or uh, you know it streams on Spotify or on Instagram when they play ads or Facebook. You can get your song into those and they can license the song from you. You can get paid from that, but at the same time, what's great about having your movie or your music in a commercial or even a movie is that when it's inside of that, whatever company is pushing that commercial or that movie, they're paying for the advertiser for you to get heard. Their actual marketing dollars are going into you getting your music heard. You're not spending any money. You made the song, it's now in their hands, it's getting shown to every person they pay to promote it to. That's what's great about this. It keeps growing and growing. And if it's something that's hot, like a really good commercial, like maybe it's a Kia commercial or a Ford commercial, if you get your music in there, you probably never thought about that, right? But if you get in there, you're making serious money as well as potentially gaining fans. I've seen videos on uh, artists whose careers were completely made by getting themselves in a commercial. I think one, uh, I think the 
the band I'm thinking of, uh, they got into a Mazda commercial. And I remember after I saw the thing about how they got it in a Mazda commercial, and then I went and listened, I was like, yo, I've actually seen this commercial. I recognized the song, and then I went and listened to the song. I'm like, damn, this has like 100 million views on it. I was like, holy shit, right? That's crazy, that could be you. Number three, you can get your music on a website that gets millions of clicks to it a day, okay? If you get your music on BuzzFeed somehow, or anything related to BuzzFeed, or an article, or a background music of a video on BuzzFeed, or news as the background, if you are looking for these opportunities, or you're going out and searching for these opportunities and you get it, you could potentially start gaining a lot of fans from that. You, you probably never thought, you're probably thinking blogs and Spotify playlists, right? You never thought, well, how can I approach this as a marketer? sideways how can i not come in like hey play my music and talk to the person directly how about you offer up your music of hey i think this song would be really great for whatever they're doing whatever the article is whatever the content creator the journalist is making for it or whatever there's a lots of different ways you have to think outside the box you're not only an artist right now you are a marketer it's, this is a, one of the key things you need in order to get heard and to grow your your music career Bro. is to freaking learn how to market yourself my friend obviously you know this one and this is probably the one that you actually always thought about but you can get your music into the top rotation at a radio station if you can get into the rotation i mean this is very this your chances of this i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you this is, it's gonna, it's, that's gonna be a complicated thing to get your hands on and make happen, okay? But that's okay, because it's still something that you need to keep in your mind. Make sure you're connecting with DJs. Make sure you're being nice to all the radio personalities. Try to befriend small, the smaller radio personalities that aren't on the main spots. Be cool with them. Go to the events that they're at. Become actual, like, truly good friends with these people and then work your way up in the system and network. This is how networking works. One person to a bigger person to a bigger person to a bigger person upwards, okay? And just be yourself, be genuine, be honest. Don't be asking them for things either. Just establish a relationship and you'll be surprised. I know it's gonna sound like a long time, but two years from now, you may not have the record now, but two years from now, you might have that record. Right now, you know that person. Hey, hey, Diane at, at at WGCI, whatever. You know, I uh I got this record. You know, I've known you for a long time. I've been to a bunch of your events. You know, could you check this out for me? Let me know what you think about it. If they say they like it, like yo, this is a good record. I'm like, hey, I really appreciate if you pass this up. And they might because you've established a relationship with them. Okay, like you know, this these little things that people don't think about doing. But you gotta put the work in, you gotta be looking for the opportunities. Let's go on. Number five is you can get your music into a Spotify playlist or you know any of the bigger playlists out there. If you guys don't recall, I talked about a song of one of my videos, it's kind of like going viral. It's like it, the, it's just popping off the one of how much money you can make uh, uh, you know, in 2018 off of a hit song. Like I told you in that video, if you even get your song into a playlist, you're gonna get like a minimum of three million views if you're, uh, or three million streams a week. Okay, we're talking about you making like 20 grand a month off of streams, okay? Just from being like rap caviar and being one of those top playlists. That is massive. So I think that right now, a lot of artists' goals and mindsets should always be focused on how can I get into these playlists, okay? So think about that. Number six, and this one's actually attainable for anybody, okay? Is you can get an, a big influencer to post your song up. You get an influencer to post your song on their page. And the, the reason why I say this is attainable for anybody is because influencers make their money from paid advertisements, okay? So if you have a hot song, they agree it's a hot song, you can pay them, they'll post it, you'll get seen by hundreds of thousands to millions of people in one just one time, all right? I mean, think about that for a second, okay? I wanted to mention all these places because oftentimes, especially when we're starting out as artists, we don't think of up here. We think on the lower level because we want to get up here, but we're thinking, how can we get from here to here? Instead of thinking from the top down. Like, don't think about getting heard by hundreds of people. Think about getting heard by millions of people and then work your way down. Like, how can I get heard by 100,000? I'll get heard by 10,000. Think about those bigger things, right? With this mindset, as you're growing your career, you can actually start, you know, looking for these opportunities, like I said. And when you're looking for these opportunities, they're going to manifest. They're going to potentially come, or at least when they when they do come about, you can pinpoint them. Like, wait a minute. I remember when Rob Level told me about, Oh, that's right, that's a good That's a good idea, I need to keep that in mind. Movies, commercials, um, every opportunity, anywhere to get your music placed, okay? Think about it. Go out there and start trying to build relationships with people who actually choose the music for movies. This is actually somebody's entire job. Somebody actually chooses every song that goes into a movie. If you're friends with that person, your chances of getting placed are much higher, okay? Another thing is, there are actual full companies out there that focus on getting good music in and actually they go out and they try to find a placement for you. They say, okay, this song's hot, 
let's go try to see uh, what music supervisors need this music. They take their cut, they give you your cut, okay? There's a ton of companies like this and they need your music. So if you have a hot song and they accept you in, freaking do that, okay? Another thing you need to start doing is you need to go out there and make a list of all the websites you could potentially get your music posted on. Every time you have a new song, send it to them or, or approach them in a sideways manner in an email saying, hey, another song, hey, another song. I know you may not care, but hey, here's another song. I gotta keep trying, I gotta be persistent. People love persistence. It could be annoying, but people love persistence, okay? I don't care what you're talking about. It's how it is, all right? And then again, the last thing I'm gonna say is you need to go out there and try to build a list of influencers, Instagram handles, Twitter handles, YouTubers where that would potentially post your music for pay or for free if you built a relationship with them, okay? These things aren't complicated, but they require work, just like getting good at making music requires work, okay? You gotta think about everything. You really gotta sit down, you gotta think, you gotta expand your mind, and you gotta be the best that you can be, and this only happens with work and really sitting and growing yourself, okay? That's also why I'm here, is to help you make you smarter, all right? So I got Einstein here right now, you know what I'm saying? Crazy fuck, you know what I'm saying? It's just driving me crazy. Don't think small, think big, make some moves, you got this. And as you know, I teach a word every day on the Smart Rapper channel so you could become a smarter rapper. Here's another word to add to your vocabulary. You know what time it is. I got this right here, man. It's time for word of the day, new words. You can say new words for your rhymes and for your wordplay. By the time you leave this video, you'll be smarter than you was before. This is so stupid. What are the daytime today? The word is cajole. And I've used this many times in, the, in a bunch of my songs. It's to gently persuade somebody of something, especially if they're reluctant. You kind of got to be smooth about it, right? People often try to cajole me into a shout out. Y'all ain't smooth. Y'all quote of the day. Common sense. I say this all the time. I don't even know why this is a quote on this website giving somebody credit for it. Have patience. All things are difficult before they become easy. We, we know, it. why did this person get the name on this quote? I say that shit. All right, I'm Rob Level, this is Smart Rapper. Hit me with a like, please hit me with a comment, what'd you think about this? And hit me with a subscribe, and when you hit subscribe, hit the little bell, cause it's gonna notify you every time I release a new video so you can become a smarter rapper. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, check out these other videos. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow with another video, cause I release a video every day. Also, every Thursday on younow.com slash Rob Level, I do a live stream where you can get your music reviewed. I never talk about this, okay? But I want everybody to know that if you wanna get on there, ask questions and you know grow and learn and be part of the community and see other meet other rappers and everything else like that get on there younow.com slash rob level every thursday 6 p.m pst put that in your calendar it's been happening people been joining we're growing get on there i'll see you guys next week all right peace, peace. Smart gang